Okay, launch your PyCharm project and go ahead and create your first project environment. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and create my project environment named JSTML, for example, because that's where my sources are. And once you create the project, it will allow you to either create a Conda environment or create a Python virtual environment. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and use a Python virtual environment because that's what I'm most familiar with. And I'll go ahead and create it for you. Now, it'll take about you know a minute or so, but once it's actually created an environment, the next thing is to do is to import your Git repository of MLflow sources as part of the PyCharm project. And here, in my case, I have a directory called MLflow examples, which I'll add to it. It, and I'll go ahead and create it in the same window. Following that, you can do is now configure the PyCharm project to install packages that you actually need from the PyPy repository. Now, because I'm using MLflow and Keras and TensorFlow, I'm going to start installing MLflow first, and it will go to the repository, figure out the most recent version, and go ahead and install it for you. Followed by, I'm going to go ahead and install TensorFlow because TensorFlow is the backend engine for Keras. Then I'll install TensorFlow, which go, again does the same thing and picks up the most recent one and installs it for you. And now I'm going to install MLflow, uh, or rather Keras, because that's what I need. And once I've done that, I'm really ready now to use PyCharm as I would be using in my command line as well. My sources are ready. I'm going to read my first MLflow run with the default parameters and it will go ahead and run it in the console. And as you can see, my default parameters are there. I get my loss value. I get my accuracy value and I can keep on running this indefinitely till I'm ready with that. Very easy, very simple, worth it. Thank you.